What's up, y'all? Beyond the Harmony, beyondtheharmony.com. I am Cecil West, back again with the one and only. It's Jonathan Lippy. It's Jonathan Lippy with Bang Bang. And this is the question of the day. Today, y'all, this, this was actually proposed to us in the comments, and, and it was great. So one fan wanted to know, do you guys like No Surrender or Still No Surrender? I don't think a single person said Still No Surrender. Uh, <laughs> everybody said No Surrender. It was a very unfair uh, question of the day. But people wanted to know, and I think it was still a great discussion. Um, in fact, John, I think sometimes people just want to hear us talk about things like No Surrender, and that was a way to get us to do it. Uh, but during that, what got brought up was a more fair comparison and the fans want to know is it no surrender or no pretender wow we bang bang i think at the time period it was no surrender but no surrender is kind of like falling victim to the crossroads not the same kind of played out more like thuggish ruggish bone like you know it's it's from that early era and we played it so much and no pretender by the huh. time that came out, we had so many other bone songs to listen to. So at the time, no surrender, but now I have like a more acquired taste and I like no pretender. Like if, if I had to choose between one of the two, I'd play no pretender now only because I haven't played it out the same way I played out no surrender. I think no surrender is obviously a much more important song than no pretender. Uh, and I, at the time period, I liked No Surrender way more, played No Surrender way more. But nowadays, I like to go back and listen to that old Mo Thugs album, first two albums. And uh, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with No Pretender just because I haven't worn it out. And it's like a nice old gem that I did listen to it at the time. But when I was putting that CD in, I was listening to Mo Murder. I was listening to Thug Devotion. I was listening to Low Down Dirty Shame you know, and, and, uh, ghetto blues. So th there was a lot of other tracks I was checking for other than no pretender. Um, but I did play it, but just, I didn't wear that out. So I like, I'd like to go back and listen to no pretender a lot more than I don't even play no surrender anymore. Like that one's that's retired to me. So I'm going to go with no pretender. John, I have rode the fucking wheels off both these songs. I have, play if these if these motherfuckers were on a tape i would have worn the tape out and the tape would have broke by now uh i've played the fuck out of them both uh it's funny that somebody brought them up because i mean past the fact that you know no surrender no pretender you know they, they go together right uh in fact in the hook of, of no pretender that you know that is the hook they both kind of have that like lead up uh i used to get really pumped up to no pretender that intro with them getting ready for the shootout and they're loading the fucking guns and then it finally comes to a head and they're just like fucking popping off the shots and then it just comes in all smooth um i th that that song got me pumped i also uh you know we, we talked about this a little bit in the pregame but i loved that on no pretender you know we got like the uh the mo thug variety pack so you got a member from, you know, all like the major groups. You got Crazy from Bone Thugs, Jazz from Too True, Tombstone from GYS, and I believe Boogie from uh, Poetic Hustlers is on there as well. And uh, so, so you get the you get the sampler pack. You get the Mo Thug sampler pack, and it was it was a really cool, you know, just diverse lineup. But it, I think that it helped, you know, just kind of like reestablish everything that we say all the time on the show which is like mo thug had such a cool unique sound that it didn't matter which one was on the track like the track was going to be great and that was proven here this one's almost like uh underrated because because that album is so good um so no pretender is a great track but I'm going with no surrender in this motherfucker because that is the 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 king. It's got all the members of Bone. It is the DNA of No Pretender, as we can hear uh, in it as as well. Without the No Surrender track, we probably never had a No Pretender. Uh, and and there's just something so good about that song. Um, 
for not being a song for for not being a single uh the level of love that it that bone fans have and i i would even say like non not like to the point of like notorious thugs or anything but i would even say like non-bone fans know it and funny enough i think it's because of the the pop pop part and uh mm. i you know i th- I think uh i i remember like being younger and like my non-bone friends still like knew that song and would, would do that part uh i distinctly remember like sitting on a porch and a kid just being like you know he says it like 21 times right and I was, like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, it's done on purpose, like 21. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, no, you know, no surrender. I mean, this is this is a this is a tough question. Like when when we were uh, prepping for this, this is a fucking tough question uh, because the songs are similar. They get you hype. They, they, they're they're buck songs, but in a different way, too. Right. Like no surrender is an aggressive in your face song. No pretender is smooth as fuck how do they do that how do they make murder sound so smooth bro uh i don't i I don't know how they do it but like never has murder sounded so smooth as it does on no fucking pretender and and a bunch of other bone songs too they they really have a knack for you know uh me killer me killer me killer how how do they do it bro they uh they're they're awesome um shoot them up shoot them up is so pleasant like, oh dude right like you just uh <laughs> so so pleasant you just want to jam to it so i, I think love that these one guys. Is the, it, that one's the biggest troll of all time shoot em up because even the beat they made the beat sound so friendly <laughs> on shoot em up Wait, and, and, uh, and you know like uh it, wh- what goes through the mind right because you you and i have both been in groups we've been we've spent extensive years in groups uh lots of songs I've, I've made a lot of songs and you know it's like the process right like you get a you get a beat and you're sitting around with your group and you're like all right what's this beat make us think of like what do you feel you know so you get a slow song like that and no one ever has been like this shit makes me think of fucking murder bro like shooting them all up like what who 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 it's it's not even like that makes you crazy i'm like bro that that's out of the box like whoever was like probably crazy bone that was just like bro this is going to be a whole, this is going to be the drive-by song right here. Like, I know you think we're going to rap over weed on this beat, but we're not. We're going to rap about a drive-by. Uh, you know, it, it, it's it's crazy. Bone is, and is, is an amazing group. I, I love the versatility, especially the early versatility. These are two pound-for-pound pound great motherfucking songs. Johnny, Johnny went with No Pretender from Mo Thug's Family Scriptures. I went with no surrender from creeping on to come up but now it's time to find out what you think and why so drop that in the comments below if you're a no surrender or a no pretender and if you bang bang don't forget to share this with another bone fan and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already we will catch you on the next one Beyond the